bag of 10,000 loose frozen chicken tenders. And I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they like ripped open and got on the floor and they were like, ah, and they took a shovel and shoveled it back into the yeah, bag. Yeah, why not? Um, so now I couldn't put it higher than like a D. I do have a lot of history with Burger King. Mm-hmm. Burger King was the best in terms of toys. Yeah. When I was obsessed with, because that's, that's all that I would get. Because um, I, I, you know, was sort of a poor kid. So I wouldn't get like actual toys from a toy store. I would just get fast food toys. Because mm-hmm. they were basically free. Um, but Burger King had the deluxe toys. I remember they had like Toy Story toys, which I was obsessed with, right. Toy Story. And then they had like Toy Story puppets. If you paid like three bucks or whatever, and you get like the puppet, and it was deluxe, and nobody wow. ever had Buzz Lightyear, and I was heartbroken. I mean, I do remember their their promotional toy things, like uh, they had an Alf. You could get an Alf doll. This must have been the eighties when what Alf was all the rage, dude. There was a line around the block, like trying to get into Burger King to get the Alf doll. This is, I mean, <laughs> this is years before eBay and the internet in general. Yeah. So that was your one chance, man. Um, hey, Willie! <laughs> but I will say, in terms of food, it's a little bit of an old faithful for me. Okay. Um, if there's nothing around uh, Burger King, I'll be like, okay, fine. Because, and because, mm-hmm. Whoppers make my stomach hurt, but they have the Impossible Whopper now, mm-hmm. which is actually pretty decent. Impossible. Um, so I'm, I kind of want to give Burger King like a B or a C. I will defer to you on this one. Oh, that's so tough. Ah. Keep in mind, yeah. it's vile. <laughs> that's, the, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this yeah. is all vile. If, yeah. this, if this was like an actual food tier list, this would all be in F. I got, I got you. I got you. Um, all right. Do C. I'll go with C. Yeah, and, and then we'll move on. I don't even fucking like this one. Canes. K- uh, a. I yeah. Canes is fucking amazing. I'm a big Raising Canes fan. Canes. They've been building a Raising Canes in Burbank for like thirty years. <laughs> Thir- thirty. Thirty years. Um, Canes uh, was introduced to me by Allie. Hello, Allie. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was. Oh, that was right. It was right after the uh, the yeah, Power Hour. Exactly when we filmed the Power Hour at that uh, golf course. Um, we went and got Canes, which was next door. It's down in Downey. And, um, oh my God, it was so tasty. And you and guys played Magic the Gathering. We did, table that's right. Together. I forgot about that. It was such a, it was one of my most treasured memories. Oh man, that's nice. And then when the pandemic hit, um, my wife and my dog and I would go to Cane's and that would be like our big, our big, uh, pandemic eating experience out. And we'd, we'd eat it and go to the drive through and eat it in the car in the parking lot. And then we'd give We'd order a cup of ice for Camilla. Camilla fucking loves the ice from Canes. It's like that crumbly ice. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And she's like, she thinks it's Sonic. Yeah, she thinks it's a treat. And so, like, we'll give her a little bit, and she's like, "Oh my god, more!" And we we could just (laughs) give her a million things that she thinks she thinks she's getting all the treats, but meanwhile, she's just getting hydrated. It's like such a win-win. Wow. That's that's great. Yeah, I'm I'm with you on Canes, especially like in the fast food category. For fast food chicken, pretty damn good. A does, plus does not taste like fast food chicken. It just tastes like quick service chicken. Right, right. Which is one step above. Carl's Jr. Uh, doesn't do much for me. I'm gonna go D tier. Okay, yeah, I think that's about right. I would eat it. It definitely has the sluttiest uh, commercials, uh, but. That's not what we're talking about here. Yeah, we didn't have the... We didn't... Oh, never mind. I was talking about the Jack in the Box one. The Jack in the Box guy wasn't on our list. Our, our fuckable tier list. Oh, no. And he would have been uh, right up there. He really? Was, he was He was one of the images that didn't load. Oh, no. He That's was definitely tragedy. on there. Sorry to hear that. Rest in pieces. Ch- checkers, also known as rallies. Yeah, Um. not really my thing. Oh, by the way, Carl Jr. also known as Hardee's, for those of you yeah, on the Yeah, that's Coast. right. That's right. Um, I have a storied history with checkers. I lived close to a checkers when I lived in Florida, and I used to love it. You have a checkered checkers history? Mm-hmm. Excellent. 100%, yes. Did something happen? I do find it weird that they call it Carl's Jr., which is the West Coast, and then they called it checkers, which is the East Coast. That's true. Um, anyway, checkers, yeah. Uh, 
love used to love their fries mm. and to some extent still do they have like seasoned fries yep which are like pretty decent um and their burgers are disgusting but like there's something satisfying about the really cheesy burgers mm. uh at checkers and uh it just it just feels like a nightmare every time you go there and i think they had like a toy promotion with like straws or something that i really liked they had like straw they had like little figures that would grab onto your straw. They're like little aliens. Mm. And I loved those as a kid. Yeah. So where do you want to put it? I want to... See, there's no like... I guess C is the middle. Yeah. It's never had, is there? C, C is the middle. So I'd I give it a C. Okay. Fair enough. Um, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A is uh, outstanding uh, fast food tasty wise. Uh. Um, obviously not into their... Uh, feelings on homosexuality, but right. you know, that's not what we're talking about here. So, thumbs down to homo. Wait, to homophobia. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I got. I got what are you, Chick Fil A? <laughs> I'm sorry. Thumbs down to homophobia. Thumbs up to waffle fries. I was trying. I was thinking of the second half of the sentence before I finished the first half. Yeah, I try not to eat there a whole lot because of that. And I and I, it always flip flops in the news. It's like they don't do it anymore. And it's like, oh, cool. And they're like, well, it's just kidding, they do. <laughs> and it's like, oh no, you tricked me. Yeah. Um, but I, I honestly, okay, I do have a hardcore opinion on Chick Fil A food. Okay. Uh, I think the sauce does all the work. Huh. I once had Chick Fil A, and I asked for the sauce, and they didn't give it to me, and I was like, what the fuck. And then I ate the sandwich just on its own. Mm -hmm. I ate the fries just on its own. And it was a very, very mediocre experience. Huh. And I was like, damn, that sauce really do all the work. <laughs> and they don't put it on automatically. So I don't know. I, I feel like uh, I feel like not great. I feel like okay. the, the, the sauce is what really does. So I, I, I'll go see. All right. See is where it ends up. Uh, Chipotle. Chipotle is one of those things where I feel like I should like it more than I do. Um, well, it's just usually it's like spicy, right? You can get salsa. Yeah, every every time I've eaten there, I've, I've felt somewhat ill afterwards. I had Chipotle yesterday. Oh, okay. And I icebergged it this morning. Yep, that does track. Their, their burritos are like children. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pillow filled with meat. I don't know how they expect anyone to eat that whole burrito in one sitting. Yeah, it's... Maybe that's why I would always get sick because like it's just too much food. It's so much. They just, there's no, because they, they just load up how, whatever they feel like, mm -hmm. even though they don't know the rest of the story. Yes. You know, you get the burrito and, and you're like, oh, you the beans? And like, yeah, I'll give me the beans. And then they just slop the fucking beans on yeah. like a whole burrito sized amount of beans. How about all the beans that have ever grown? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, you don't know what else I want. Yeah. What do you think? I'm just getting beans? That's like when Subway destroys it with spinach. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And and that's the most disappointing thing because lettuce is at the very end of the train at Chipotle. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I want a lot of lettuce because I like that crunch, dog. Yeah. The crunch and munch. And by the time they get to lettuce, it's just, it's the fucking Mount Everest of food on top of a tortilla. Right. And I have no idea how they're going to wrap this shit. And then sometimes they bring in a second tortilla because the first tortilla breaks because there's so much fucking food in it. How, how have they not figured this out? I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go B. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just look, you know, and here's here's the thing you got to do. Here's the life hack at Chipotle. Mm -hmm. Tell them to mix it around. Oh, okay. Because they they do this thing where they just like, yeah. and, and then they, when you eat it, it's like you get one the, side. The that's, bean quadrant. Yeah, the, it's just yeah. so huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's like you take a bite and it's like, oh, that was only guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. And you, sure. you got to tell them, just mix it around a little bit, please. And they get it. All right. We are running into uh, four in a row that I have never eaten at. You never had churches? No. We drove by it in North Carolina, but I've never even seen one before. I don't think I've ever had churches either. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cookout. That's crazy. Uh, is pretty good. I don't know what it is. They have a lot of options. It's an East Coast thing. Okay. It's an East Coast Southern thing. Right. Um, it's, it's really, really good late. They're open late, mm -hmm. and they have a lot of options. All right. Um, I believe they have a lot of different ice cream options, like milkshake options. 
Yes. It's one of those things where it's like, we have a thousand milkshake. We got banana peanut butter. We've got banana apple. We've got poopy dicky milkshake. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. And uh, I got to say for like late night, it's pretty satisfying. I would probably go B. All right. I've never had Culver's. Me neither. Love the color of the logo, but never had it. Del Taco. Del Taco. Jesus. I've only seen Ross eat it. <laughs> and it looks insane. <laughs> I have not had a whole lot of food from Del Taco. I will say mm -hmm. their classic chicken burrito, which they have a deal if you buy two of them, which is way too much food, is fucking delicious. Mm. It's so refreshing and good. And the, the tomatoes they put in it are like, it's the only time I'll ever eat tomatoes. I hate tomatoes, but it's like, it's cold and it just goes really well with like the sauce they put in it. And it's just, I love. The chicken classic burrito. It's the only thing I like from Del Taco. All right. F. I'll, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go. Oh man, because we're talking. I'll go B. Okay. I I think they're okay. All right. Denny's. Denny's. I think two out of my three worst experiences with food have been at a Denny's. <laughs> Tell me about them, Daniel. Well, you were there for one of them uh, after the tool show. Oh, um, that's right. Yeah. They put we, us under the, the one open vent. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was three in the morning. ice cold air on us. Yep. And uh, like they brought out the water and it was like the water in the rest the fake restaurant in the beginning of Goonies when it's like the water's all brown. She's like, it's wet, ain't it? Drink it. That's, <laughs> that's Denny's. I like, um, and then... That time when we went uh, with Jacob Anderson. That's right. Uh, who played Grey Worm uh, on Game of Thrones, also known as Raleigh Ritchie, the very talented, wonderful man. Well, we wanted to take him out to a nice restaurant because he was like nice enough to come on our show and hang out with us. And he was like, no, I want the <laughs> shittiest food yeah, possible. He, he just wanted to experience like garbage American food. And uh, so we took him to Denny's, which uh, was near... Uh, that office that we were at at the time. And uh, it was gross. It was exactly as gross as we thought it would be. And um, we even have uh, a classic video of him uh, acting as Grey Worm, eating Denny's. And he's like, this is not good food. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Super classic. I'm going to go to the best. Oh, God, please don't. Um, How dare you? Well, hear me out. No. All right. Hear I me hate out. it being up there. It's why it, it 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 violates the entire sanctity of this project. Denny's is a unique experience. It is, you know, when you so want getting Denny's. beaten up within an inch no, of your no, life. No, 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 no. You you have Denny's once, and you're like, okay, I get this. Uh -huh. All right, I understand what this is. And there are times in your life where you want that, and when you sit down and you have it, that's exactly what you get. Every single time. Yeah, but what when you're when you're like, I want this, you're never thinking I want the best. I, you're thinking I want a hot dumpster fire of yes, garbage. But that's like I said, we're we're acknowledging that this is all terrible food. Right. But that's the terrible of the terrible. I would give D Denny's an F and not even think twice about F? it. F? Yeah. Yeah. For Denny's? For fucking gross. The Ta Grand Slam? Yeah, yeah. Moons over my hammy? <laughs> what is wrong with you? How about all this for six ninety nine? dollars Grand Slam, Dolph! <laughs> <laughs> I'll go see because we're split. Okay, fair enough. I have to look myself in the mirror tonight <laughs> when I go home. Domino's Pizza. D Domino's Pizza is almost an oxymoron because I don't know if you could call what they serve pizza. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. Um... But again, th there have been times in my life where, like, it did hit the spot because I wanted exactly that kind of badness. Dear. D. D. D is perfect. Okay. DQ, I'm going to argue, mm -hmm. okay, so the, the DQ is on here because they do actually serve fast food food. They have burgers. They have fries. They, get, they, they have hot dogs, I believe. The grill and chill. Yeah. Um, but DQ, obviously... Started as an ice cream place exclusively, um, and that's still how I see it. And I want to say that in terms of ice cream, 
It's very good. Especially when they have that butterscotch dip. Oh, mama. Mm Mm-hmm. That's the best for the, me. The chocolate shell over the vanilla oh, yeah. ice cream. That I is, really like that it. That is A tier for me. Okay. Cool with me. Good Boom. stuff. El Pollo Loco. Never had it. It's all right. It's a crazy chicken. C tier. Okay. Firehouse Subs. Only had it once. Thought it was good. B or C? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. I don't I've, I've never had it. Okay. Five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're going to be here for a while. Is it? Well, I guess Denny's is on here. But that's the only so far. What else is there? <laughs> Kazoon tight. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Panera's on here. Okay. Okay. Five Guys is fast casual. It is not fast food. Right. Um, which is fine because there's other fast casual rest of Panera breads on here. Um, Denny's is on here, which I th- is just a diner. Uh, Five Guys is very good. Mm-hmm. It's also very expensive, mm. and there's no drive-through. Mm. Um, but in terms of the food quality, the very good food quality, every time I've had a Five Guys burger and fries, it has been fucking delicious. It's been a long time for me. I haven't. Uh, I stopped eating burgers, maybe like thirteen or fourteen years ago, um, just because like. For health reasons and also just because I met a bunch of cows and I was like, oh, I can't eat them anymore. They're yeah. too cute. Uh, but w- from what I remember, uh, it was very good. Yes. My my one thing about Five Guys is it always gets caught up in the like the best fast food burger argument, which I think is so unfair because Five Guys burgers are like $15 mm. and it's like Wendy's burgers are like six bucks. So yeah, you will defend Wendy's until the day you die. So it's it's just like when people are like, Five Guys is the best fast food, whatever. It's like, that's a different category. That's like saying fucking Umami Burger makes the best burgers and, and McDonald's doesn't. It's like, yeah, no shit. God, you're so passionate. I just that, I just want to put that out there. Like Mel Gibson rallying the troops at the end of Braveheart. With, with, <laughs> with me putting Five Guys in the best category. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted to stipulate. Yep. Okay. Um, IHOP. I fucking love IHOP pancakes. I really do. You wanted to put Denny's in F tier and IHOP in I fucking love their pancakes tier? Because it's it's a DQ kind of thing. Like, if I ordered anything else at IHOP, I'd be like, oh, dear. But uh, the pancakes, yeah, I really love them. Okay, I agree with you on that front. I think Denny's overall has just better food in general. IHOP, the food is fucking awful, but the pancakes are pretty decent. Okay. Would you be cool with B? B? Yeah. I'd give it an A, otherwise, for the pancakes. Oh. Daddy likey. <laughs> Daddy want cakey. All right. Okay. <laughs> they do have better, like, options for pancakes. They always have, like, special pancakes. They got, like, the cinnamon swirl, twisty magic face. Bro, the funny face? When, when I was a little kid, and I could go and get a pancake, what with the face? Made out of the whipped creams, yeah, and 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 the oh the the gooey chocolate chips, uh huh, ah, yep, it's the fucking I could nut just talking about it. <laughs> in and out. Oh, the burger joint, yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not talking about your bowel movements at IHOP. Okay, uh, I think. See, this is this is another one. I think my I think the last burger I ever had was at In and Out. Really? Yeah, I really, I really liked it because it was like an LA staple. It was like, oh, you got to try In and Out. And uh, when, so when I first moved here, um, low those many years ago, uh, I had it. And it was very good. So I would put it high, but mostly because it reminds me of like my pre-game grumps days in LA, right. like when you and I had just met and we're hanging out. It was just a nice time in my life. Okay, I do have. Very strong opinions about In and Out. Okay, um, of course you do. It is beloved. There, there is a bit of a um, a uh, In and Out is overrated hype train that is pulling out of the station right now, uh, which I don't want to say that I'm a part of, but um, the whole the whole allure of In and Out is that it is a decent burger for a very decent price. Um, however, you have to wait in line for fucking five hours to get it. Uh, but it's okay. It's kind of small. Okay. 
kind of a small burger. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to say it's like B tier. That's cool. I'm down with B. We've got a lot of Bs, but that's cool. Hey, man. You know, they I all like, deserve to be there. I like, they all deserve to be there. <laughs> nice. Except for Del Taco, which I would rather lick the asphalt in the parking lot outside the restaurant. You didn't even, you've never had it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's the taco. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Jack in the box. Uh, I, I only had it once. I, rem- I didn't think it was that good. I think Jack in the Box is a fast food chain that knows exactly what it is. Right. That is is like, look, it's not. <laughs> Let fu- me level with you. <laughs> it's not fucking amazing. We mm-hmm. don't price it like it's amazing, but we give you a lot of options and we give you a lot of options that we know you want. They're all fucking just slathered in cheese and sauce and bacon. Yeah. And they have like that. They have they straight up have like a stoner meal. It's like the late night munchy meal well, or that's something. That's exactly what that is. Um, and I'm cool with that. And they serve breakfast all day, and their breakfast options are very good. Mm-hmm. Their uh, their burrito or whatever, their egg burrito, great. Okay. Their egg sandwiches, the ultimate sausage sandwich or whatever, mm-hmm. is pretty decent. And I will say that their burgers are okay. This is going to have to be two episodes. <laughs> We've got so much to say. I had no idea we had so many thoughts on these restaurants. Jack in the Box, J in the B. <laughs> I want to say is a B or a C. Um, if Burger King is in C, then I'm putting J in the B and a C. Okay, okay, sounds great. Because it is it is the same kind of like old faithful style. Like you know what? When I eat here, I know I'm not going to want to throw up. Yep. Which honestly is with this group of <laughs> restaurants is no small feat. Um, next is Jersey Mike's. Jersey Mike's is my fucking jam. I know that you are. In the best tier for Jersey Mike's. Yeah, that's that's like my Wendy's. Susie also huge Jersey Mike's fan. Yeah, um, I will because I know how much you love it and oh. how excited you are about it. Well, thank you. I will put it in the best. I am not a huge Jersey Mike's fan. I get diarrhea every time I eat there. Do you get the oil on the on your subs? Because that will absolutely grease your entire insides as if you were a like Olympic luge <laughs> setup. Who doesn't get the oil on their sandwiches? I don't. It's I don't. delicious. It, it is delicious, but that's what's giving you that reaction. Well, you know what? I put the oil on one time and I like I finished the last bite and I was immediately like, oh my God. <laughs> Just had to run. Yeah, for me, I, I would almost put it in like C- uh, yeah, a lot of people think it's average, but for, I don't know. To, something to my palate tastes very good about sure. it. Sure. And what do they call it? Mike's Way or whatever? You just be like, Mike's Way is all the crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. It. Yeah, I could, I, that, that's more than my, my sensitive Jew stomach could handle. Jimmy John's. Jimmy John's is for me also very good. Uh, one step below, like a B. Yeah, all right. I've had it a couple times. I could easily see the Jimmy John stands coming out of the woodwork and be like, you think it's not as good as Jersey Mike's? We could fucking find out where you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and beat you with condiments. It'll beat you with these two J's. Yeah. I'm gonna grab them both and dual wield them. <laughs> Cha-cha. Just smack them in your fucking face. Um, next up. Wait, wait, what what are your thoughts on Jimmy John's? Jimmy John's? Yeah. I just, I, I've had it maybe two or three times. Okay. And every time I was like, okay. All right. You know, it's 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 tough. I feel like that kind of food is tough to weigh against like a like a McDonald's or something, because you know, it's like it's like they grill it in a certain oil. For some reason, when it's just like it's a sandwich. And they have all these ingredients, and then they just put the ingredients in the sandwich and close the sandwich. You know, it's like, it, then it feels like, what's really unique about this? Yeah, I understand. As opposed to like, this is the kind of oil that we fry it in. This is how long we fry it for. This is, you know, the special sauce that we use. This is, we've crafted these burger experiences to be. Specific, these you know, burger experiences. You know, so. God, you sound like a marketing guy. <laughs> <laughs> we crafted the burger experience. So it's it's tough for me. Except for Subway. It's tough for me to to speak really strongly about like these sandwich places. Okay. Where you can just like literally just go up and be like, just put cheese in it and I'm good. Yep. I get it. I get it. 
Um, I think we should. We yeah, have put we less do, than is remaining. Yeah, we do have to split this into two episodes. Yeah. I can't believe. I thought we'd breeze through this, but like everything you say, I'm like counterpoint. <laughs> like it's just. <laughs> I didn't realize we had such strong feelings. Yeah. So uh, next time on Game Grumps, we will finish this uh, tier list. Yeah. I can only imagine what the comments will be like, because if we have strong feelings, oh, the internet definitely has strong feelings. When it comes to fast food in America, yeah, dude, there are people that are going to be coming out of the fucking wood. There are going to be yeah. non-Game Grumps fans showing up and be like, who the fuck are these guys? Yeah. But you know what? Culver's and never had? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't frame it. At, like you guys are assholes just let us know how you feel <laughs> like but not in that way <laughs> let us know how you feel about the food because mm -hmm. I'm like I could go anywhere on the internet and read that uh, we're pieces of shit but like here's my chance to hear what your thoughts are on these restaurants and that's what really matters here yeah with a sprinkling of that we're pieces of shit yeah thanks everyone I can absolutely picture Jory saying that. <laughs> yeah. No uh, question. All right. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Reese, they're good. That's first gone. Okay. That's that's fucking they're, S tier. They're a classic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Kit Kat. Kit Kats I put up there, too. So, I so think first gone? They're, I think they're amazing. I like them more than Reese's. You know what? I'm with you on that. I'll okay. go first gone on Kit Kat. All right. Sweet. It's it, They're easy to eat. You know, there's not a whole lot of like. They're e easily uh, shareable. Yeah. There's not a whole lot of other stuff going on. A delicious wafer inside that is wafer thin. A uh, hundred grand. Uh, not as familiar with that one. Okay. It's, it's caramel and like some kind of crunchy thing and that chocolate. Certainly sounds good. Um, it's like a Ferro Rocher, I think. I, oh, okay. That, that would be a B for with, me. With caramel. Um, yeah, I'm going to go B with that too. It's, they're good. Reese's Pieces, that's S tier. The, the pieces, okay. For me, what's it for you? Uh, a little lower, probably A or B. Oh wow, I'll put an A to you then. Okay. As as a as a compromise, but uh, Reese's Pieces for me, that's mm -hmm. fucking that could be above that's the S tier. Okay. Uh, sweet tarts. I used to like them a lot, but now they'd be last gone. Hurt your mouth. Yeah, yeah, definitely hurt your mouth. A, a lot of the ones that are just pure sugar <laughs> are uh, like they sort of lose their luster after you're not a kid anymore right um, alright that's uh, last gone for that one mm -hmm. uh, three musketeers oh he, first gone for sure for really me. yeah I'm, I, you know I'm gonna agree with you I had a big three musketeers phase when I was a kid a chocolate cloud it, yeah it's just Fucking chocolate and new float me away queen <laughs> daddy <laughs> chocolate daddy yeah. float me away with your nougat <laughs> Pixie sticks. Pixie sticks. I am. Uh, I did like them when I was a kid. Now I would not. I don't think I'd eat them now. Really? Yeah. It's just just straight sugar. I think they'd go into the trash. Uh, damn. Yeah, you know what? I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it's, straight into the trash for that one. It's just like I, I, I did love them when I was. A kid. I yeah, me too. Absolutely love them. Me too. Them. But like, I like my teeth. But I, I like my stomach. I want to hold on to them. I can just feel my feel my stomach lining like melting away. Yeah. Yeah. As as I'm thinking about eating these. Mm -hmm. Airheads are the same kind of thing for me. Really? Yeah. Although it's higher. It's it would be B or last. I'm gonna God. I'm gonna go B okay. with airheads. Okay. I, I was obsessed with airheads as a kid. Just fine. Making the little pillow. Fine by me. Yeah, yeah. You know? Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Um what is this? Uh Mr. Good what is this? It's not the, Mr. Good Bar. It's it's, it's, not it's a, like the toffee. I don't know like what chewy, these are. Chewy toffee. Well, they've they've got it. These were in my neighborhood. All so right. perfect. Crunch bar. Oh, outstanding. Yeah. First rice gone. Rice krispies and chocolate. Fucking put it in my mouth. Are you going first gone on crunch? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do have a thing for crunch. Mm -hmm. Necco wafers. Necco wafers are tasty, but that's a trash one for me. Yeah, yeah. Last gone is fine. Last gone. Yeah. Says, or, or trash is good. I'm going to trash, okay. dude. Fuck it. Sour patch. Oh man. I used to really like them. I used to eat Sour Patch Kids until there was like a visible like, like layer of skin missing. Yes, in your mouth. from the center of my tongue. Yeah. And I was like, that can't be good. But still, if I like the, the, tough one to judge because I feel like the first four or five Sour Patch Kids are from heaven and then it's a straight drop off a cliff. If I have yeah. more than that. Yeah. And this is like the big bag too. Yeah, let's let's give them a let's give them a B. Or a last uh, yeah, gone. Yeah, I'll go B. Okay. I'll go B. That, that, that's fair. Uh, nerds. 
I used to love nerds. They give me a headache. Yeah, yeah. Last gone. Yeah. Now it's it's just pure freaking sugar. Good and plenty. Good and plenty is exactly the type of thing I thought was disgusting as a kid, and now I think is like uh, not a little disgusting. <laughs> maybe like last gone. Last gone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think they're all right. Mm-hmm. I, I, re- I like Mike and Ike's. Yes, good, good and plenty. What, what flavor is good and plenty? Licorice. Oh, fuck that. Okay, That's put it in the trash, dude. Because we're gonna have to like move stuff around, yeah. right? Uh, Twizzlers. Love, I love, love Twizzlers. Love Twizzlers. Uh, yeah. That's all right. First yep. gone for that. Dots. Dots are good. They're like a B. I like dots. They get in your teeth. They 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 are they are very clingy. Really annoying. Uh, let's put them last gone. I'm or thinking B though, because okay. they always pick the dots. We we just have a lot of Bs. I'm trying to. Yeah. Okay. M um, and M's. M and M's are delicious. Not but, a big fan. Okay. <laughs> I like I like all the other M and M's except for regular M and M's. Okay. Put put them last gone though, because they you yeah. wouldn't throw them in the trash. No, no, no. But yeah, yeah I, I'm not a huge fan. They make your breath terrible. Um, sticks of gum. Uh, last gone probably. It's just gum. You know. Are you putting gum in the trash? I'm going to say last gone too. And I, I want to say that I'll always take one. Because yeah. it's nice to have. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, good. Yep, I agree. Andy's mints, absolutely love them. They're fantastic. First gone? Yep. Hell yeah. That uh, little green stripe in the middle of the chocolate, whenever I'd see it like as a kid, I was like, oh, <laughs> here we go. It's magical. <laughs> Flavor time. Yep. Uh, runts. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not into them. Really? Yeah, they're like, they like I would eat them as a kid if they were like if there was nothing else around. But like, there's there's flavors like the banana ones are really gross. It's it's just very fake fruit flavor. I'll I'll go. You know what? Mm-hmm. I'll go. I'll go last gone. Okay. Because I I, I kind of like them. Mm-hmm. Um, Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy is another like B last gone range for Let's me. Still last gone. That's okay. I don't really care much for those. Werther's Originals. Werther's Originals. You know what? Uh. A grandfatherly candy, if there ever was one. I think that's an A for me. Really, that's yeah. very high. They're so good. Uh, put it, put you know, we have plenty of A space, so let's do it. Throw it in there. These mm, s- those, watermelon things, the, or strawberries. Yeah, those strawberry candies with some goo in the middle. That's you know, there's actually two different types of these. Really, there's two manufacturers of this type of candy that have the same wrapping. Wow, but they're different candies. Ballsy. I know it's fucked up. I'm gonna assume it's the one with the goo. Yes. And if that's the case, then it's in the B range. Really? Yep. Wait, lower or higher? For I'm gonna you? go A. Put them in A. I, I, I like those Have things. Have fun with it. Hershey Kisses. Hershey Kisses, classic, nice and classic. Mm. Um, you know, probably B for me. B's fair. B's fair. I never like. See, we're talking about Halloween candy, where you're like sorting it out. Mm-hmm. This would be last gone for me. Wow. Like but, if but, there's if there's a dish of them, I'm yeah. like hell yeah, Hershey Kisses. Sure. But uh, if I have choices, not into it. Okay. Put the Hershey's Kiss in uh, last gone then. Uh, a Hershey bar. Hershey bar, same thing. So, I mean, really? They, they taste exactly the same as Hershey's Kisses. Yeah, but it's different. It's a different shape. Well, the, the, the experience of eating it, you know, you peel down the thing, <laughs> and you snap the bar. Do you like it more or less? I'm going to say that's a B for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mike and Ike's. Mike and Ike's are outstanding. I love them. I'm going to go A tier for that. Yep. Oops. Oh, no. Did we lose it? No, we're good. Thank God. Oh, uh, no. No, the Mike and X are in the trash. No, no, no. Take them out of the trash. Oh, thank God. It's here. Okay. All right. I'll just keep my fingers away from the back button. Okay. Uh, Snickers. Delicious. First gone? Uh, That's a little high, but A. A? I a? give them an A. Yeah, yeah, I understand that. That's 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 good. Yeah. Almond Joys. Less so for me. I love Almond Joys. Well, then put them in B, baby. Except for the fact that I don't eat them anymore because they're made of almonds. Put them in the trash. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but I do like the coconutty one. The mounds. They, yes. they don't have almonds in them. Mm-hmm. So mounds is going to go way up there if it's on here. I don't see it though. So that's rude. Baby uh, Ruth, I was a late bloomer on. Really? Yep. You're a big Baby Ruth guy now? I, th- I think they're good now, but I did not eat them as kid, as a kid. I, you know what? I like them. Hey, that's an A for me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's a little high, but. Uh... Caramel apple pops. Let me just say, that's a first gone for me. Okay, th- th- I'm I'm in the I don't know what these are. Okay, they're just they're, they're green apple lollipops that are covered in caramel. Wow. They're I have a very 
that first of all, let me just put it in first gun. Okay. I have a very particular memory with these because uh, my my parents bought one bag of these when Goku was going Super Saiyan for the first time fighting Frieza. Yeah, you'll never every day I came like home that. from school and I was like, he's going Super Saiyan today. Yeah. Yep. And then he didn't. And then the next day, and I kind of eat a lollipop. And then the next day, he's going Super Saiyan today. I'd eat a lollipop and he <sighs> didn't. And it was like for five days. Wow. And then he went Super Saiyan and I was like, fuck you. Yeah! And I was licking the shit out of it. So that's, that's very outstanding. Every time I relive that nostalgia when I eat it. Okay. Um, Charleston Chew. Oh, geez. God, I haven't thought of that in a long time. They're that, pretty good. Yeah, they are pretty good. I put that in a B. I could be. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Goodbar. Not, you know, it's good, but like peanuts wouldn't be my first choice. Mm. It, mm. It's just, it just tastes like a Snickers without the caramel. Oh, which damn. is what makes it magical. That's 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 some shade that you're throwing right now. I'm sorry. I I put it at last gone. Last gone. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Uh, double bubble or whatever the fuck these are called. Yeah, I. There were better gums out there. I'd put that one in the trash. Wow, in the trash. We need trash, man. We're gonna run out of room. I let, they can stack. Oh, can they? They can yeah. go beyond. beyond. Yeah, yeah. I thought like the point of the game was like. You only have limited spaces, and you have to make sure. No, no, no. Oh, okay. You just rate them how you rate them. Um, I think it's more fun the other way, and then we can get into arguments. <laughs> I'm going to go last gone. Okay. Sure. Because I don't throw these in the trash, man. These are great. All right. Swedish fish. Swedish fish. Uh, when I was a kid, first gone. Now, probably B. They give me a headache. I'm yeah. going to go B. Yeah. Yeah. Low pop. Uh, too much sugar. And Get stuck in your teeth. Yeah, that would go in the trash for me. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Fireballs. Again, loved it as a kid. Now I'm like, why? That's a trash one for me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why do that to yourself? Um, these are, uh, are they're the flavored Tootsie, Tootsie Rolls, I think. Oh, gross. Gross. Straight yeah, in the trash. It's trash for me. Fun Dip. Fun Dip is, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's there's a, a, a white peg of edible sugar that you lick and then dip in different colored, like basically pixie stick powder yeah, and then lick that off and then eat the peg. And I'm just like, man, that's, <laughs> that's, that's top tier for me. Wow. I was, I was going to put it in the trash. Really? Well, if I'm putting pixie sticks in the trash, it's the same. I thing. feel like I've seen you eat a fun dip recently. I can't imagine what set of circumstances led to that. Oh, <sighs> That's oh Aaron, man! You, you you do what you want, man. That's not. It's this is a collaboration. Well, let's give it a B then, because it's right in the middle. Ah, oh, it's right in the middle. Okay. It's a safe option. Tootsie Pops. Uh, I love them. What? Not my thing personally. I I would put them in A. Put them in A. I like. They're I'm, fucking delicious. I'm not gonna turn them down. I don't know what these are. Uh, fruit roll ups. Oh, they're fruit roll ups. Those are great. Those are first gone for me. Yeah. Yep. Gushers. Yep. Same. First Super. Gone? Yeah, I do love Gushers. Uh, Gold Bears. Oh, that's Gummy an A, bears. probably. Yeah, A tier. I'm, yeah. I, I got to agree with that. We're on the same page. Mm -hmm. uh, Werther's Originals again. Or are these different Werther's Originals? It might be like Butterscotch versus Caramels. Oh, that's still an A for me. Sure, put them in A. Heath Bar. Not familiar. Not a huge fan. Uh, you can go what the oh, okay. Butterfingers. Love the shit out of Butterfingers. Okay. Uh, they, they drive me nuts. But <laughs> Drive me wild, enticing me. Um, I put them wherever we put baby Ruths because they're like right on the same level. A tier? Oh, I guess that is A tier. Yeah. I'll go with A tier. If, if you're not all the way on Butterfingers, I feel like First Gone has to be both of us agree, which oh, okay. I guess Caramel Apple Pops can go down then. Okay. Put those in A. Cool. But we all agree on these. Yeah, right? those, yeah, are, yeah. those are all the jam. Okay. Hot tamales. Uh, those are just cinnamon or like. Spicy Mike and Ikes. I don't really care for them. Yeah, I'm not like a little goes a long way with those. That's the trash for oh, okay. me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Lemonhead. Lemonheads again, kind of not too sugary. I used to love them. Kind of thinking I'm putting them in the trash category. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would too. Uh, Tootsie Rolls. Classic. Classic. Uh, but like, probably like a B. B. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm with you. I wouldn't. B? I wouldn't eat more than like a couple. Jolly Ranchers. Uh, those are good too. Like, but man, Jolly, Jolly Ranch is the first gone for me. Okay, yeah, it, it's it's the stuff that's like pure sugar that like 
These are all pure sugar, Dan. I know. I know, I know what I mean. I know what you mean, but like, you know what I mean too. Like, it's just, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. Yeah. There's no other flavor in there. Um, well, if this is a collaboration, then we can go B. Sure. Because you're saying you just don't like them. Sure. There's nothing wrong. There's okay. nothing wrong with them. Junior Mints. Those are good. Love them. Yeah. Put them in A. A tier? Yeah, why not? All right. Mmm. Uh, um, ring pops. Ring pops. Uh, that's just a Jolly Rancher in ring form. I would actually rate them lower than Jolly Rancher. Interesting. Because they're hard to eat. Yes, they are. And you get slobber all over them. Yes, you do. It's like, bump that. I don't want that. All right, put them in last gone. I'm going to last gone for these. Okay. Payday. Not familiar. Oh, it's just a bar of caramel covered in peanuts. Uh, that's missing the chocolate for me. Yeah? Yeah. I used to... I was obsessed with payday. <laughs> you as a you, kid. you had a lot of love affairs with candy. Yeah, man. Well, I fucking love candy. Um, I would say I still am into it. Okay. I would go A tier on payday. All right, by all means. I think it's a very underrated candy bar. Okay. Toblerone. So, to- uh, yeah, those are good. Th- th- those those are interesting because of their triangular shape and because they were like the candy that your dad would bring home from the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Like there was no other time you'd see it. Yeah. Um, I actually don't, I don't think I'm quite from, it's toffee? It's chocolate and toffee? Maybe. It's, it's chocolate with little chunks of something in it, but it's, it's good. Uh, B or A? Let's go B. Let's go B. Yeah. Because I'm not like going nuts for them. Uh, the peanut M&M's fucking rule. Okay. Put them in uh, first gun. I'll go first gun. Yeah. yeah they're awesome. Oh, uh, mambas. Uh, mambas. I, I used to freaking love those. I don't think I've ever had one. They're like, they're a little bit, not exactly, but they're a little bit like high chews. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, they, they'd be a, a B or an A for me. I'll put them in B. Uh, milk Duds. <laughs> My nipples look like Milk Duds. <laughs> Thank you, Kung Pao. I love Milk Duds. They're good. They're they, good. They're, they, they, they fuse my teeth together. B tier. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Milky Ways. Milky Ways are good. Um, You'd say Three Musketeers are better than Milky Ways? For me, yeah. Uh, for, for me, Milky Ways always tasted like Snickers without the peanuts, which, I mean, they are. But, like, it felt like something was missing for that reason. Huh. Interesting. But they're fucking good. I mean, it's chocolate and caramel. It's, a, it's a tier. Sure. I mean, it would be first gone for me, but if we're not in but agreement. But some asshole keeps no, no, no. I, for, the First average. gone is like unanimous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We both agree. I get it. Uh, now and laters. Now and laters, well, not now. Once again, had a now and later face. Maybe later. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go last gone for now yeah, and laters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can't yeah. eat it right away, I don't have any more patience for candy. Yeah. It's like, I'm yeah. not going to wait. Well, this is also because <laughs> we're, like, we're, we're older people now, you yeah. know? Like, this would be all flipped upside down if, if we were still little kids. Yeah. Apple. Like, an apple is freaking delicious That's now that I'm an gone. adult. That's first gone. But, like, if I got an apple as for Halloween when I was a kid, I'd be fucking furious. <laughs> I'd be, like, I'd be, like, neutral. I'd be, like, yeah, I'll eat it. Okay. Raisinets. Not a huge fan. Not, I'm going straight in the trash with those. Okay. Toothbrushes. Toothbrush. I mean, let's let's give it an A because dental hygiene is important. I but, agree with that yeah. wholeheartedly. Skittles, you know how I feel about Skittles. Skittles is first gone. Yeah, they're they're that, that's a staple. now and always a jam. Um, God, what the fuck, Smarties, American Smarties. That's a pass for me. Really? Yeah, I love Smarties. I have fun with it, man. I'll go B. Sure. Starbursts. Jeez, I love Starburst. I like them too. It very dependent on the flavor. Oh, yeah, you get the yellow one. Who cares? Yeah. You get the pink one. Or the red one. Oof. Yeah, outstanding. All right, pink pink or red Starburst. Is that first gone? Yes. I'm going to put that in there. Because you can buy them like that. They're called oh, Flavor yeah. Reds. Oh, goodness me. Uh, oh, um, Sugar Daddy. Sugar Daddy, not really my thing, personally. I think they're good, but they're hard to eat. Last gone? I'll go last gone for okay. those. Candy Corn. Uh, huge thumbs down for me. Really? They, they, that's the one that I can't get into I at all. I love candy corn. Oof, man. Is there anything you don't like? Um, the stuff that we put straight into the trash. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you can put it up, man. Like, can, candy corn <sighs> we'll, was always we'll like... We'll go last con if you really hate it. it we, like, that actually was the Halloween candy that I, I wouldn't eat. 
Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I love it, but like if you don't even want it, that's straight to the trash it material. It already looks like barf. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Twix. Twix is massively first gone. That's a first gone. Yeah. For sure. So delicious. Uh, sour Warheads. Oh my God, those things. I would never, ever eat one now, now. but I loved them when I was a kid. Yeah, same. Put, I, put them in last gone. Yeah. Can't go into the trash. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta try it out. Yeah. You'll be like, what's this like? Yeah. And then... It, and then are, is it happening? Is your is it happening on your tongue? Just thinking about it yeah. right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, Whoppers. <sighs> another another late bloomer for me. Here's the thing. Mm -hmm. We have Whoppers. Australia has a candy called Maltesers mm -hmm. that are Whoppers, but they're a thousand times better. Really? Yeah. So Whoppers now taste like shit to me. Yeah, interesting. My grandma loves them, so I have like an affection for them. But let, let's put them in B. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. York Peppermint Patty, that's a first gone for me. That Yeah, I still will like go into a 7-Eleven and just buy oh, one. Love that shit. Yep. Uh, and Zero Bar. Not familiar. It's not good. Okay. We'll go straight into the trash. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, and that's that, man. I like this list. Yeah? Oh, let, let's, let's look over what yeah, we yeah, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First gone, Reese's. Yep. Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. Three Musketeers. Absolutely. Crunch Bar. Yep. Uh, now owned by Ferrer Rocher. Really? Yeah, Nestle? It's not Nestle Crunch. It's not, it's not a Nestle's anymore. Crunch Bar? Nope. Wow, that was part of the name. I know. Uh, Twizzlers. Uh huh. Andes. Yep. Fruit Roll Ups. Yep. Gushers. Mm -hmm. Peanut MMs. Yes. Skittles. Yes. Apple. Yes. That's a thumbs up. Uh, Starburst, specifically flavor reds. Mm hmm. Uh, Twix. Yep. And York Peppermint Patties. That's that absolutely is, first gone. That's cream of the cream right mm -hmm. there. Yep. A tier. Yep. Reese's Pieces. Mm hmm. Were there's original whatever the fuck. Yep. The strawberry things. Yep. Mike and Ike's. Yes. That's actually borderline first. Mike, for me. You know what? Let's bump Mike and Ike's up. I'm, they I'm deserve it. it. Yep. Uh, Snickers bar. Delicious. Great, great place for it. Overall good. Mm -hmm. Not the most amazing. Baby Ruth. Mm -hmm. Tootsie Pop. Yep. Haribo gummy bears. Yep. Were the originals again. Butterfinger for me is a first gone, but you had you had some trepidation about it. They they. Uh, fuse into the gaps of my teeth yes, too much. Yes, yeah, but it's so good that I don't care. <laughs> You're like, oh, good, I'll access that later. Yeah, uh, Junior Mints. <laughs> yep, great pick. Uh, caramel apple pops. I'll for have me, to try those. That's a first gone. Uh, but bumped down to A because you never had them. Uh, payday. Again, never had them. That's really good. I think you would like Paydays. All right. Uh, Milky Way. Nothing wrong with them. And toothbrush. You know what? Let's put toothbrushes in first gone. For just to send a good message. Send a good message to the kids out to, there. To the people at home. Cookies and cream Hershey bar. B. I'm going to stick to that. Yeah, I, I'm not familiar with it. It's, it's, it's white chocolate. You've had white chocolate, right? I do like white chocolate. It's white chocolate with a little flecks of cookie in it. Sounds good. It's pretty good. 100 grand. 100 grand I have to reacquaint myself with. It's edible. Yep. Airheads. Mm -hmm. Too much sugar. Too much sugar. Uh, Sour Patch. You know what? Put them in A tier? I, yeah, but I got yeah, the same thought. I'm thinking they're, A tier. I'm okay. thinking A tier. Oh, yeah. Sour Patch A tier. Uh, dots. Uh, yep, th those are fine there. Yeah, all right. Yep. Hershey's Bar. Mm -hmm. For me, I would move that up. Let, let's do it. You think so? Yeah, there's nothing wrong with Hershey Bar. I do. You know, it's it tastes like puke, but, you know, sometimes you like the puke chocolate. That is, I don't need any of that snobbery. The, <laughs> Hershey's chocolate's delicious. Uh, Charleston Chew. Uh, yep. Perfect. Good stuff. Be. Fun dip. You hate them, apparently. Hate is very strong. <laughs> a very strong word. It's just like, th that's the type of candy that my body doesn't respond well to anymore. I'm going to go to Lascon for oh, fun dip. Okay. Uh, Swedish fish. Delicious. Very good. Yep. Are you thinking eight tier for Swedish fish? Well, here's the thing. I used to, there was this, um, there was this restaurant in Livingston, New Jersey called Don's. And actually there's, there's there's one still around. It's a, a Jewish deli place called, I think it's called Episessen or something. And they sell these Swedish fish in these like, they're not the Swedish fish packaging, but they're gummy fish and they're in like a clear plastic tin and they're various flavors. And that shit is phenomenal. The problem, the only problem with that type of Swedish fish that you're pointing at right now is that it's all, it's all red. Yeah. And like, like, man, I yearn for, New fish. Variety. Yeah, yeah. 
Other fish in the sea, for, you for, would say? For, for fresh fish. <laughs> a new fresh catch. We'll keep it at B. Okay. Tootsie Rolls. Uh, classic. Very classic. I would bump that up personally. Would you really? I love Tootsie Rolls. I mean, it's a classic. I, like, I can't imagine myself sitting there and eating more than one or two, but like, they are good. We'll keep it at B. Okay. Toblerone. That's good. That's a good spot for it. Yep. Jolly Ranchers. Feels right. Yep. Uh, Mamba, never had it. Mm-hmm. You say it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I mean, I used to sit down after school and eat them like it was something to do, <laughs> like like an activity. Wow. Because the, the, the way they sell the Mambas are, it comes in a package like that, and then you open it, and then it comes in four, then there are four little individual cluster packages, which are their own packages, oh. and each one is its own flavor, and then you open each of those up, and then you get the individually wrapped uh now and later styles of that flavor. There's actually a lot of wasteful wrapping now that I think. Yeah, jeez. But I would love like eating them in an order. And I was like, oh, I've still got four of these, but I only got three of these. You know, <laughs> it, it was good. It was fun. I like them. Okay. That's a good memory. Mm -hmm. Milk Duds. That's perfect. Perfect there. B. Uh, Smarties. Smarties, it, fine. That's a B for me as well. Yep. Uh, Whoppers. That's a B. You know what I like most about Smarties, even more than the flavor? Mm. Putting your tongue in the little depression. Yes. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smarties are fun to eat. For Just sure. kind of doing like. Yeah. Kind of doing that thing. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet tarts, last gone. Yep. Uh, yes. Too, too, too much now. Yes. Nerds, too sugary. Nerds, too sugary, but that's a raw deal for nerds because I loved nerds back then. Oh, the yeah, day. yeah. Yeah. I mean, so many of these is like would change if I was six. Yeah, yeah. Uh, M&Ms, don't like them. Don't like them. Yeah. Uh, or, gum. I, although I like them, but. Out of deference to you. Sticks of gum. I am happy when I get them. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's, it's almost out of like, a, it's like utilitarian. And juicy fruit is going to move you. Yeah. It breaks right through. It gets right to you. Runts. Too much sugar. Yep. Right in your face. Yes. Uh, I do like the texture though. Interesting. The mouthfeel, especially when you get a banana. Mm. The mouthfeel of banana is something about it. Mm. Um, it's like a penis. Laffy Taffy. Um... La yeah, Laffy Taffy, I, we've had it around the office. I eat it. It's good. I feel terrible afterwards. <laughs> it's wonderful. And I love the song. Pure sugar. Laffy Taffy. Laffy Taffy. Hershey Kiss. Uh, yep. That, good for I mean, last gone. Could, could have gone higher, but it's fine. Yeah. Would, would, wouldn't, wouldn't pick it out of a mix of candy. Uh, Mr. Goodbar. Mr. Goodbar I have an affection for because Weird Al mentioned it in his Dare to be Stupid song. But that's fine. It's just, a, it's you know, it's okay. Yep. The gum you hated, you wanted to throw in the trash. I, I, that's, again, harsh. But, like, I j that was also when I thought, like, we had very limited space. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, these, I, these are great. Bump them up to B. I pick them. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm into that. Okay, cool. Now and laters. Don't like them anymore. Yeah, I'm good with them. Without them. Uh, sugar daddies, hard to eat. Yep. Same thing with now and laters. They'll just like pull your jaw. Yeah. Like it's like wiring your jaw shut and hoping mm -hmm. for the best. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> uh, uh, ring pops, hard to eat, messy. Yep. Great, great concept. Yeah. Um, that was my engagement ring, actually. Nice. Uh, sour warheads. Yep. Warheads, uh, delicious, fun candy as a kid. Great uh, Marvel UK comic book in the early 90s. <laughs> uh, bad, um, dangerous uh, missile. In real life, <laughs> but yeah, can't eat them right now. No, no, can't eat them. Uh, as an adult, it's too much. Yep, and fun uh, to put in there. Yeah, uh, pixie sticks, pixie sticks, awesome back in the day. It's it's basically like crack for it, it, pure sugar. children, <laughs> instant headache. Yeah, uh, necko wafers suck. Necko wafers, I feel an affection for because I used to live somewhat near the necko factory mm -hmm. uh, in Philly. Um, but they or, suck. Or was it in Boston? Can't remember. One of those places I lived. I was yeah, near yeah, the yeah. Necro Factory. Very sweet. They suck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they suck, right? Fair, yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> like, I, I, like, I'm not going to bat for Necro wafers. <laughs> <laughs> it is something that, you, that, does, that, that warrants going to bat for because it's kind of a universally hated candy. Is it really? Yeah, I mean, it was the most successful candy when it, of its time. It's, yeah, it, it tastes very, like, uh, 40s or 50s. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um... Okay, good and plenty. Good and plenty kind of thing where it's like I'll I'll have one or two and I'm like, cool, that's yeah. that's all right. I'm just not into it. Yep. Almond Joys, fuck almonds. Okay. If it was mounds, it'd be way up there. Okay. Um, blow pops. Wait, Almond Joy is like coconut, right? Yes, it's coconut. 
Yeah, I'm the not. Mounds is just the coconut. Right. I'm not I'm not big on coconut. Oh man, I I the, the mixture of the chocolate and the coconut is fantastic. You like a cocoa nut? Uh, do, yes, I do. I hold on. I have to tell. Uh, uh, Aaron is currently texting. Hang in there. We'll be good in a second. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay. Fireballs, hate them. Fireballs are much along the lines of warheads. Like fun, like a fun challenge candy when you're a kid. And then you get to our age and you're like, why am I challenging myself? Mm-hmm. I just don't like, I don't like the, I don't like the feel. My body's rejecting this. Um, uh, flavored Tootsie Rolls. Yeah, yeah. Did, mm, they, they never did anything mess for it, me. Why mess with a good thing? Yeah, exactly. Hot tamales, same thing as fireballs. Yeah, hot tamales are basically like the 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 grotesque love child of Mike and Ike's and fireballs. Yep. Uh, same thing with lemon heads. Just yep. it's just too sour. Yep. Uh, and then once it once and then once you get rid of the sour layer and it's just the lame sugar layer, it's yep. like this is this sucks. Mm, Whole okay. experience sucks. Uh, candy corn, I love. You hate Can, with a passion. Uh, yeah, I hate hate again is a strong word, but like. I've tried a you couple You said times. they look like puke. They do look like puke. And and they don't taste good to me either. Um, and just the idea of like, even the name, like corn, like candy corn. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> but I think you should put them in last gone because you love them. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, zero bars. Not a fan. I uh, don't know them. It's white chocolate and it, I don't, I don't even remember what's inside. Okay. But a, a zero score for it, the zero bar. It's like a, it's like a, I want to say it's like a peanut buttery nougat slurry or something. Oof, man, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't remember, but I don't remember liking them that much. Okay. Uh, raisinets. Ra- raisinets, very, very unique kind of thing where it's like, love raisins, love chocolate. Put mm-hmm. them together. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It should, I don't know. It, it should be better in theory than it is in yeah. practice for me. Um, and then these two, or whatever. Yeah, we weren't uh, familiar with yeah. those. So this is that. Oh, here's somebody who was a little horny for them. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally on fur affinity, by the way. Oh, the there you go. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Pokalai. Yeah, oh, uh, boy. So I. Yeah, so what do you think, Dan? I'm thinking he's like a tier. Really? Yeah. Like he seems cuddly. Well, yeah, you're into bears in general, so that does make sense. Uh. You know what? I am. I just read a book called Shardic. Uh, about by, sharding in the Arctic? C- incorrect. <laughs> it's about a, a bear named Shardic uh, by the guy who did Watership Down. It was very good. Okay. Uh, so I'll give it an A. Hey, there yeah, we go. Yeah. Our first decision. All right. St- starting off on a high note. Love it. Um, the Jolly Green Giant. Uh, not to scale. That's a tiny giant. Well, he's, he's hot. He's like S tier. You think so? Well, I mean, he he fulfills a lot of different <laughs> categories, right? Go on. He's huge, uh-huh. so he can step on you. Right. He's fucking jacked, mm-hmm. which is hot. Yeah. He's green, which like, it's like there's like a body paint thing That's going on That's one in there, the plus you know? column for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah <laughs> for right. sure. So... I'm I'm thinking S tier for him. Well, you 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 live your truth, Aaron. I love that. Okay. Thank you. Jolly B. <laughs> I gotta be honest, man. I'm not getting horny vibes from Jolly B. <laughs> With those Pac-Man eyes. <laughs> it's just it's just weird to me. Yeah, I'm not huge on the Jolly B. He's it's just, it's just kind of a well. Apparently, Jolly Bee's a girl too. Is that right? Yeah, which okay. was which which is which switches things up a little bit because most of these are men. My, <laughs> <laughs> My feelings still stands. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with D. D. Yeah, I, I got I got nothing for Jolly Bee. Okay, cool. Foods the foods whatever, but the the Jolly Bee itself not a huge. And I got there's so there's a, there's a place in in uh, in L A. There's a town called Eagle Rock that has mm-hmm. like a, a mall in it, and it had a Jolly Bee. It still has a Jolly Bee in it, and then but on, it's on the second floor, and then on the first floor, there's a shipping company called Jolly Bee. Wow! But like like J L J O L L Y. Do you think the employees B. ever fight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like they just meet in the hallway of the mall. Yeah. To yeah. Uh, Booberry. 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 For 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 anyone who doesn't know, 
Count Chocula and Frankenberry are the most famous, but there's also Booberry, Yummy Mummy, and the Fruit Brew. What? Booberry's way more famous than Frankenberry. You think so? Yeah. Maybe Booberry's number Florida. two, I would say. I, I, Booberry was very rarely making appearances where I grew up in Jersey. Um, but I like his vibe. He's my favorite color. He's, he, okay. He, he seems kind of chill. He's, but he seems upset all the time. Does he? Which doesn't do anything for me. His eyes make me think he just twisted up a blunt before he came over. Uh, yeah. Here, check it out. Booberry. He's, he's just like, he's just like, oh man. <laughs> you, you, like, even I don't think the cereal's that good. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know, man. I can't get behind that attitude. All right. He's got a cool vibe, like otherwise. Let's put him right in the middle. Give yeah. him a B. Give him a B? Yeah. All right. For Booberry. Mm -hmm. Uh the cookie crisp dog, which the dog or the, the or the criminal? Cookie crisp criminal. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, and there's a cop too. Yeah, so the cookie crisp criminal. They don't use him anymore. Right. Um, probably for for obvious reasons, because he's a criminal. <laughs> they, don't want, yeah. they don't want a criminal. They don't want to associate with... their <laughs> delicious cereal with crime. Yeah. Well, there's the dog too. Yeah, who's also a criminal. I saw wizard too, in, in there. Can you, Cookie Crisp Wizard? Can you look that up real fast? Cookie Crisp Wizard. I don't know. It's just what came up. What the fuck? Oh my god! The Cookie Crisp Magic Club. Wow. Join it today, Mac. I feel like he wouldn't be a good lover. What's that? Se First of all, hold on. I feel like he'd What's be distracted. What's that second one? This one? Yeah. Oh. What is that? <laughs> is that late period Chevy Chase in a wizard costume? I don't know if that's real. I don't know if it is either. This is the real one. Okay. It's so, it's so tiny. Uh, this wizard, yeah, I don't, He he's a selfish lover. He's very distracted by his, <laughs> like, his antics. Okay. And I would say that's probably, no, actually, that you know what? That is Chevy Chase. Look, there he is in, in Community. Oh, cool. Doing Cookie Crisp. Okay. All right. Wow. Who knew? All right. So if we're going by the wizard, I would say that's a straight D. Okay. Um, but if we're going by the criminal, I actually think, because it's like, why it is he doing- gives you a straight D. <laughs> <laughs> why is he doing crime? Right. To provide for his family. He's a, Thank you, Walter White. <laughs> he's a real, he's a real family man. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this face. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get cookies from my family. So he's, I think he's really uh, just a good guy. Okay. Um, you know, you only resort to crime if you're desperate. Yeah. So I, I you know what? I'm gonna give him like a B. All right. That was a long route to get there, but I agree. Um, this one is the cocoa puffs. We've reached the toucan portion of our. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, Dan. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I like him. Um, it seems like he'd be a wild one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the Cuckoo, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs bird is quite a handful in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm going to say A. All he right. seems like he's got a good positive attitude. Okay. Yeah, all right. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Toucan Sam. Toucan Sam, very refined. I... I feel I I feel similarly about the Cookie Crisp Wizard. I feel like he would be distracted with his own shit. <laughs> he would just be in his fucking library, just like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm following my nose. Like That's he would. Toucan Sam sounds like. Yeah, he does. He's like, follow your nose wherever it goes. Oh my god, maybe he does. It's been a long time. Yeah, he's he's kind of like a pompous prick. All right, put him wherever you want, man. But he still has that kind of sophisticated. I'll give him a C. Okay. What the uh, hell is this thing? This is Apple Jacks? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's gotta be a no, man. <laughs> it's just gotta be. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> I like a cinnamon stick friend, but I don't know, man. Yeah, the cinnamon stick friend seems kind of like... Like, like kind of chill? Fit in a lot of places. Yeah, like, look at his face. He's like, yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a D for me. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a not even happening. Um, the green M and M. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> the Coco Crispy Monkeys. Monkey. There's just one. Yeah, Coco. He swings from the trees. Everybody loves his Coco Crispies. I don't know. I got no love for the Coco Crispies yeah, monkey. D. I'm gonna go with D. Uh, let's see. Oh, the 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 honeycomb. The honey, the Miwon honeycomb monster. 
<laughs> There's going to be a lot of D's on this list, man. A lot of what? A lot of D's on this <clears throat> list. You think he's a D? Yeah. Where would you put him? He's fluffy. He's passionate. Don't give me the hard sell. Just tell me. <laughs> I'd put him in B. Oh, B. All right. Well, yeah. fair enough. Okay. I feel I feel some love for him. He's excited. You can't. You passion is is attractive. <laughs> he wants honeycomb. <laughs> But bad grammar is a turnoff. I don't so know. It kind of cancels out. I don't know what the fuck freakies is. I don't know either. That was a Borf suggestion. Let's just throw it in D. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mr. Delicious. Mr. Delicious. People aren't going to know what Mr. Delicious is. He's a Rax. <laughs> People aren't going to know what Rax was. It was a roast beef restaurant like Arby's. It was. Back in the day. It's There's, been a long time since I've seen a Rax. Their slogan was, you can eat here. <laughs> Which is probably the most genius slogan. And you could. Ever made at the time, you can't anymore. Um, they don't exist. He was a monotone freak and he talked about his vasectomy in one episode. Is that right? Uh-huh. I don't remember that. I, I do remember he would say things like, Cartoons are for kids, but this is a cartoon for adults. And he's just like a responsible, he's like financially, yeah, responsible. And with he's got a receding hairline, it's a very strange choice. No, there's literally one commercial where he's like. Um, when you go to Rax, you can get yourself a roast beef sandwich, which is great for me because I'm recovering from my surgery. And it's like, I'm sorry. Wow. Could you expound on that? Anyway, he seems like he'd be boring. See? Okay. <laughs> uh, the yummy mummy. Yummy mummy. This is, this is your world. Why? I didn't, they didn't have these in Jersey. You haven't had yummy mummy? Nope. Yummy Mummy or Fruit Brute, they didn't, they didn't have either of those where I grew it up. It tastes exactly like all the other shit. Okay, cool. They just released a cereal last year that was all of them combined. Ew. It, they all taste <laughs> the same. Oh, okay. It was like eating booberry. Didn't even notice. Um, yummy Mummy. I don't yummy know. Mummy? Yum, 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 Bienvenido a Yummy Mummy. Um, yummy Mummy. I don't know anything about Yummy Mummy. Okay. I'm just going to go with C. What do you mean C? No, I'll go with B. Oh, all right. Because he seems like a happy, happy dude. Yeah, he seems like a nice fellow. He's like happy to be alive, if mm-hmm. he is alive. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, the Starkist tuna. Starkist tuna. I'm going to have to go S. Wow, all right. I, I would have given him an A, but yeah. Handsome fella. Probably very learned. He's been through a lot, and he's an artist. Yep. Seems to be wearing a beret. He's got kind of a beatnik thing going on. Yeah. Like he's he's he seems very responsible and very like worldly. Yep. Um, especially because he's a tuna, so he knows a lot about like preservation. Yeah, he's been caught in nets all over the world. Yeah, like he's been through a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. He's probably been to jail a couple times. Probably. And now, and he's he's reformed. He's like he's a new man. Yep. I'm gonna I give love him an it. S. I like that he has fin like like a like a fin, but also kind of feet. Yeah. That's, he's 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 a guy who's grateful for what he has. Yeah. And he's got arms. A fish with arms. Yes, please. That's hot. <laughs> Grimace. <laughs> so you just like pull it out. I got one. <laughs> punches you in the face. <laughs> We're eating that one tonight. Yeah. Uh Grimace. Grimace is an A for me. Oh yeah? Yeah. Because there was I think I've told you this many times, but there was a a very famous would you rather. Uh I believe it was Would You Rather have the faint sound of children's playground chatter emanating from your crotch, or would you rather get double teamed by Grimace and Mayor McCheese? And so, I don't know. I never could find a landing spot on that. <laughs> it's just that I've oh, I've thought of Grimace in sexu- sexual terms for a long time now. And you've gotten used to it? Yeah, just, I, I kind of, yeah, you get used to anything. <laughs> It's yeah, like it's like some Stockholm syndrome shit. Over over a long enough time frame. I've been trapped in my mind with this thought for so long. Yeah, it's just it's just now one of my thoughts. I'm gonna go with A. Yeah, let's put him in an A. I think his deep voice is very soothing. Yep. He's like, Hello, Ronald. And it's like, oh man. I'll take him. care of you. Keep keep talking. Yep. Um Keep the clown. Hit me with the purple gumdrop man. <laughs> Miss me with that shit. <laughs> Miss me with that clown. Um, oh, the Ronald's there. Actually, he's a little further down. Oh yeah, well we'll 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 talk about him. Okay. Um, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Oh, Cap'n. Cap'n. Cap'n Crunch. Crunch. Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't appreciate that. You know what? Now that you reminded me of that, I I think that goes lower on the list. Wow. All right. For so, you to be such a fucking stickler for some dumb 
s- semantics bullshit. Put, a, that's put him very, in C, then. That's very unattractive. Hit him with a C. Captain Crunch. And keep in mind, this is not a commentary on the cereal itself. Only <laughs> how horny we are for the character mascot. <laughs> Thank you for the suggestion, Allie. All right, I don't know what we're looking at there. That is Happy. He is the new McDonald's mascot. He's a Happy Meal. <sighs> Man. I'm going to give that a D. Yeah, I'm just not into like, I like 2D animation, you know? I'm not into like the computery graphic things like as much. 2D animation? Yeah, 2D. <laughs> don't give a toot. Um, the, the Rice Krispies elves. Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Yeah. Are the names you're looking for. Yeah. Um. I do like, I do like brothers that can stick together. Are they brothers? I don't know. They probably aren't, but. They look they, completely different They all have different hair yeah. and stuff. <laughs> but I like that they, they, that they stick together and that they're, they're bros for life. You know? That is nice. I think that's kind of attractive. The, but that's not what the question is here. The question is. Would you let them run a train on you? <laughs> <laughs> Would you let them snap, crackle, and pop? <laughs> snap, crackle, pop shot. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. Maybe like a C. I, I, I would go B. B? All right. Throw, yeah. I think they're all right, you know? Yep. They, they got a good attitude. I'm not familiar with this gentleman. <laughs> okay, this is the Tapatio guy. Okay, what is that? Um, Tapatio is a hot sauce. Oh, well, of course. I don't... El, El Stomaco does not enjoy <laughs> hot sauce. Uh, he's fucking handsome. Look at this goddamn guy. Salsa picante. Look at... I mean, he's gorgeous. You had me at Ola. <laughs> I love it. I'm thinking the Tapatio guy is S tier. Okay. Perfect. I mean, he's just like... He's he's fucking he's 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 got an a good devil. attitude. He's probably he's 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 probably talented. I don't know. Like, I feel like I feel like whether he shaved the mustache or not, he'd just be a handsome dude. He's a smooth talker. Yep. Uh, Colonel Sanders past his prime. Oh yeah. Except oh, when we played that horny Colonel Sanders game, do you remember that oh, one? That's right. Yeah, an official KFC game. <sighs> So are we talking like this Colonel Sanders or are we talking like our ideal Colonel Sanders? I don't, I don't know. I think we make our own rules with this. I think it's, I think it's this Colonel Sanders. Okay. I think it's the Colonel Sanders that's right before us. Okay. I'm going to say, oh, that's so tough. I'm going to say no. Yeah, it's an old man. <laughs> <laughs> so D. It's a D. Yeah. Okay. Very strong. You know, I'll go with you. Okay, cool. Wendy. That's your girl. Uh Tony the Tiger. Um He does look strong. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could toss you around a little bit. Are you not gonna mention that he is a, a cat, an anthropomorphic cat? Yeah, well, sure. And yes, I'm aware that I'm a furry, but like that that one doesn't that one doesn't uh, strike the furry match against the really the, yeah I don't know why I think he's cuddly I think he's strong okay he's got a positive attitude yep he's healthy yep that's his whole thing mm-hmm. um and he's successful okay I get the impression he he's got big daddy energy all right and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a tier okay the reason I'm not going with S tier is that I feel like sometimes he has too much going on and that maybe he wouldn't have time for you sometimes. He looks like he skipped leg day. That's for sure. It's very top heavy. He's he's like a runner. You oh, know? Okay. He yeah. like he like works out his top, but then he runs. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So he's very agile. The little Caesar's pizza pizza man. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think? Would you fuck him? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know? No. I I have to let that one go. I don't know. He seems fun. Hey. Oh, yeah. He's got a like, toga party kind of vibe. Yeah. And he's, he's very giving. Even in this picture, he's just like, here's a bunch of pizza. All right. 
I, I oh, think, yeah, that is what that is. It didn't even he, occur to me. I think he'd be fun. All right. Throw him wherever you like. I'll go in B. Okay. Just to split the difference between you and me. All right. The Icy Bear. Does he have a name? I don't know. I like him, though. The Icy Bear. I'll give him an A. Yeah? Yeah. Just just because he just seems like a good guy? because he's a happy, fun bear. <laughs> 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 All right. You know what? I'm with you on that. Yeah. It's like he's he's got young energy, you know, like like you're sort of you're sort of like getting crotchety, but he like shows up and he's like, hey man, you know, life's not all about whatever, and you're like, oh, I feel like he's at least as cute as the A and W bear, and we put him in the A tier. That's well, A and W bear's got that like cuddly. This he's more sporty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. A and W bear's like, you know, he's got that he's got that like sit around in a cabin with you energy. Okay. He's more romantic. Mm-hmm. The icy bear, he's more like, he'll take you out. Right. Of course. Ch- got it. Chester Cheetah. Chester Cheetah. Gotta be an S or an A, right? What? Why? Because he's cool as fuck. Okay. He is cool. But is he narcissistic? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's a cartoon cheetah. <laughs> I feel like he's a little full of himself, All and right. that's very unattractive. Well, he's too cool to fool. <sighs> that's his. That's his whole thing. Like he's cool on the surface, and you're like, man, what a cool guy. And then you like sort of get to know him a little bit, and See, he's like, like, this guy blows a lot of rails <laughs> in his free time. <laughs> he's just like he just has shitty opinions on things. Mm-hmm. You're like, ew. All right, so Chester Cheetah for me is a C. Okay. Are you good with that? Yeah, it's a little harsh, but that's fine. I, I, dude, that's just the vibe I get. No problem. Like, he looks kind of angry, you know? I got you. I like, got you. He just, he just looks like, I don't want to be around him too long. Totally understandable. Pillsbury Doughboy. Uh, don't know. <laughs> it's unclear. I would say S tier. Really? Dude, he's soft, he's happy, he's a provider. Okay. That's S tier. I feel like need more information, but that's fine. What's the oven mitt? Uh, that's Arby's. That's Arby's? Mm-hmm. When was that Arby's? Um, I want to say like the early 90s. Gosh. Not doing much for me sexually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about this area right here? Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I go C. Okay. No, I'll go D. Okay. Uh, uh, Leprechaun. L- Lucky. His name's Lucky? Yeah, Lucky the Leprechaun. All right. Lucky the Leprechaun. Lucky Charms. Um. You he, know, I don't know. He seems like a distracted guy. Yeah, I feel like he's got a lot going on in his life. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's really obsessed with his heart, stars, and horseshoes, clovers, and blue moon, pots of gold and rainbow, and the red balloons. Wow. So no. <laughs> so no so head. No <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to go C. All right. Because like, he seems like he could be cool, but I just, there's, yeah, he's not really doing anything for me. Absolutely. Oh, S. S tier? Yeah. Caffeinated Starbucks mermaid queen? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's literally splitting her legs. She's beautiful. They zoomed her in so that you didn't see her splitting her legs. That's an S tier. Why would she have legs? She's a mermaid. Well, she has like her two little fins and she's like grabbing them both and like splitting them apart. Oh, that's right. In the old logo. Yeah. I guess that is a little suggestive. A little? Nah. (laughs) (laughs) Count Chocula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to say, normally, like a vampire would be doing something for me. Mm-hmm. Count Chocula's not doing much for me. That's it. You picked a strange, uh, updated Count Chocula. Well, let's, let's take a look at some ancient Count Chocula. Okay, there's your classic Count Chocula. Yeah, this one's a little... I don't know what's going on. He's got a big old schnoz. <laughs> a blur. Yeah, I, I never realized Count Chocula had such a big honker. Yeah, man. He's got that Bodon honkeroo. <laughs> All right. I don't know, man. He, it's just that there's nothing, there's nothing yeah, happening for me yeah, with Count I understand. Chocula. I understand. He's just, uh, I don't know. He just, he, he comes across as like a guy who's like dressing up for Halloween. Right. You know, who, who like doesn't, like he dresses up as like Count Dracula or whatever, and then somebody's like, "Oh man, 
you know, which Dracula is your favorite? And he's like, I don't know. Like, he's never seen any yes. or read any Dracula literature. I do understand. He's a fake. He's a fake. I'm going to go with D. He's a fucking fake. <laughs> All right. So how about Frankenberry? Frankenberry's got himbo energy. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, just dumb, slutty guy? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of like, just, just having fun. Just living, living life. And and just kind of like, just a sweet, sweet man. Oh, so himbo is a positive thing. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. Well, then put him wherever you like, homie. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with B, because yep. his vibe is attractive, but I'm not really, his his look isn't really doing anything for me. He's got an ass head. He's got a bit of an ass head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Diggum, the sugar smacks frog. His name's Diggum? Yeah, his name's Diggum. Says it right on the t shirt. I know he says Diggum, but I don't know his name was Diggum. His name's Diggum. Uh, I think he's cute. Yeah, I like him. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go A. Yeah. I just think he's cute. Yeah, he's got a good, relaxed vibe about him. Yeah. He's got that, he's got that like, <laughs> voice, you know? Yes. It's yeah. sugar, it's sugar smacks. Yep. Uh, Mr. Owl. I like Mr. Owl. You do? Yeah. He's he's got a sense of humor. He does, yeah. That that is funny. Kind of a selfish prick about it, though. I mean, only in that one instance that you've ever seen him. <laughs> 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 oh, you're so right. Yeah. In hey. in in the the instances in my brain that I make up. Right. Right. About yeah. About how course. awesome he is. That's well. That's what we do. Yeah. We learn one thing about someone, and then we extrapolate it to the nth degree. <laughs> completely negating who they are as an actual person. Right. So Mr. Owl really got the short end of the stick on this one. Yeah. S. All right. <laughs> Ronald McDonald. D. Yeah. Hate clowns. Uh, the Hamburger Helper. Uh, D. That's Ronald McDonald with a, as a hand. No. Okay. Ronald McDonald. He's loud. He's obnoxious. Like, shut up. Mm -hmm. Hamburger Helper hand. He's like an innocent guy, you know? He's I, think just, he, I think he's the glove, actually. It's just the glove. The glove, right. Yeah. The hamburger helper glove. He, he, he just wants to cook you some good food. You think he'd be a good glover? He's got kind of like, 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 like a quiet vibe. Look at this. Allie's brought over He's something. a cowboy. Wow, look at He might be a Ram Ranch. Oh, man. I'm going to go A What tier. a twist. Okay. I think he's a sweet guy. Okay. Good uh, enough for me. Trix Rabbit. Trix Rabbit. I like the Trix Rabbit. He doesn't, you know what I don't like about him? He doesn't seem to get the message. <laughs> Tricks are for kids, and yet he's just like, I'm going to keep fucking trying to eat him. And I'm like, dude, fucking take the hint. Yeah, but like, he's part of the rebellion. Like, he's fighting the man. By being a silly rabbit? Well, but it's what, what's so bad about eating tricks? Why can't rabbits have, she loves them. Because they're for kids. That's ridiculous. <laughs> and I think you're a part of the establishment, Dan. Uh, wow. <laughs> Boy, it sure is easy to paint yourself into a corner in these, in these made up, <laughs> did never, would never, could never happen scenarios. I, I think his rebellious nature is attractive, but I'm not personally attracted to him. I'm going to go B. Okay. Yo, Noid. The Noid. I, um, that's a D for that's me. That's a D. That's a D. His whole purpose is to be annoying and uncool. Yeah, I don't like him at all. Yep. He, he really strikes me as the kind of guy that would like hang out with you for too long. Yep. The Hooters, Hooters Owl. Uh, a. He's got boobies for eyes. He's got boobies for eyes. He's got boobies for eyes. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. See, that I don't like. My problem is I love Chuck E. Cheese's restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you call it. Rat Casino. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down to my rat casino. Oh man, I can't, I wish I could remember what comedian said that. Come on, eat my my the dirty pizza at my rat casino. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I could remember. Um, uh, but yeah, I always liked his backing band better than him. I like Jowls, the dog, and and Mr. Munch. He just strikes me as sexless. Yeah, you know, like he, he like he's. Like he's wearing like the 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 little league baseball uniform, but he's actually like fifty five. Yes, <laughs> like he like if you were like, 
So what, like, what, you know, when do you ever, when do you ever get down? And he's like, hey, get down. I get down all the time on the dance floor. No, I mean like when. No, it's true. When's when, the last time you fucked? When, <laughs> 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 when the last time I was at Chuck E. Cheese, which was probably when I was like 14 or whatever, they, they had like those make your own music videos, you yeah. know, with Chucky. And so he's dancing around in front of the green screen and there's rainbow psychedelic stuff happening behind him. And the song was Hip to be Square by Huey Lewis in the News. <laughs> and I'm like, this is not doing it for me sexually. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. What? Counterpoint. Okay. He oh. is the prototype for the Five Nights at Freddy's. So, which are all sexy, right? Right. Well, that was the point, was that they wanted to make... They they wanted to inject some sex into a sexless but it character. Was already there. Go look at his. No, it was, it was already there. <laughs> Chucky. No, every single Chuck E. Cheese iteration is completely sexless. To someone, this was it. Look at this. this oh is, my god! This is this is <laughs> fucking sexless. When did Are you that kidding happen? me? When did that become Chucky? No, yeah, that's that him one, now. The one on the left. The one of all the animatronics. No, 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 no. Down, down, down. Or, are those the animatronics? This one. Yeah. See that is that is what that is. Oh that yeah, that is what made people horny <laughs> and created Five Nights at Freddy's. This guy strikes me as the kind of guy that would pull out a shotgun if you were on his lawn. Yeah, absolutely. So? <laughs> yeah, he is sexless, one hundred percent. Look at his fucking thumbs up. That's a thumbs up for abstinence oh. if ever there was one. <laughs> You know what? That's it's your tier list. I'm just saying. Yeah. D. The history he created. Allie, you made a strong counterpoint, and I appreciate it. Yeah. No problem. The uh, the sun made raisins girl. S. That's 100 percent S tier. Fucking gorgeous. I mean, come on. Uh, Vlasic pickle pelican. <laughs> less <laughs> less so. I. You know, I'm split on him. Why? Because he's kind of, he's an older gentleman. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it like that, like, why? Just, like, <laughs> I, I'm just Hold on. curious. Classic mascot. Let's take a look at this man. He's so, a stork. He's a, Okay, he's a stork. Also, yeah. his knees bend the wrong way. Look Storks at him. His knees should bend backwards. Look at this good attitude he's got. He's, 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 he's got lots of jokes. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got, a, he's got a funny disposition. And... He's an older gentleman, so he's experienced. So I feel like, as an older gentleman, with this very positive disposition, mm -hmm. I think he's a very giving lover. Well, I'm going to smoke this pickle. I think he's all about entertaining you. All right. In the bread. And come on, it's phallic. The, it, it is. Also... Everything about what he does is just a huge penis. If you needed any more... Um proof that the internet is willing to take up any cause at any time. Check out the Get Ron Massick back as the Vlasic Pickle <laughs> voice. <laughs> That's the best pickle I ever heard. On Facebook. Wow. They Look at him. He's jerking off that dick right there. He's amazing at it. All right. I'm actually going to go A tier on that. Nah, you, you earned it. You earned it. King Vitamin. King Vitamin. Can we? I'm gonna bring up a picture of that. King. I have not seen King Vitamin since my starving car college days. King Vitamin. Oh, apparently he's a real guy. Let's not do the real. Guy. <laughs> Let's keep it cartoon. All right, cartoon. this guy. Um, that's a D for me, man. Look at the King Vitamin King, terrifying that '70s child in that video. Push D that one. <laughs> What, you don't fucking like my outfit? My, <laughs> my prostate is the size of a grapefruit. <laughs> You'll understand when you're older. There's this one. He's kind of cute. He's got he's got like a like a Yeah, that that king's cool. He's got a bit of a himbo energy to him. I guess I guess there there have been different reigns throughout the eras yeah. of various kings. Overall, I'm gonna say what about this one? Damn. Strike me down. I'm too horny. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to go D on him. All right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I hate it. Uh, uh, Hawaiian, Hawaiian punch, punch Man. Do you want to punch? That does nothing for me. Uh, I don't like to get beat up. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, he's a trickster. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think he would pull something on you. Yep. Like he'd shove something up your butt when you don't expect it. And you'd be like, whoa, hold on. All right. And he's like, <laughs> 
S tier for cool spot. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love cool spot. Um, D tier for Bob's big boy. Really? Yeah, he's a disgusting giant baby. I don't like it. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, Mac the Knight. Yeah. Dude, I haven't seen Mac the Knight in quite some time. I, oh, he's tough. He's a tough one. I don't know, man. He's cool. He is cool. He's got a big head. <laughs> I feel like he's too straight. What, uh, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like, he wouldn't fuck me. <laughs> you like a little more bisexual energy he, he would in your eat, McDonald's he, mascot? He would eat some mad pussy, though. I think that's almost exclusively what he does. <laughs> So I'll um, put him in B. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's just something about him that's very like, he's just like getting in there right yeah. away. Yeah, I understand. I understand. He's got a leather jacket. Mr. Peanut. Mr. Peanut. Well, that's your call. I don't, I, I feel lost. <sighs> I don't know. Too pompous. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's, there's something there. <laughs> but I, I think for the most part, he's just, he's a little pompous. Yeah. He's well dressed and respectable, but like your mom would be thrilled if you brought home Mr. Peanut. Yeah, but you you would immediately get into a fight with him, and things wouldn't turn out well. Yeah, agreed. He would end up dead in an alleyway. Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear. <laughs> I okay. Sugar Bear. I'm arguing between S tier and A tier because I think Sugar Bear is that fucking just like nice, friendly stoner boyfriend mm -hmm. who's just like down for anything and he fucking loves you implicitly and he's just he he does he he'll like do stuff where you're like dude that was uncool and he's like oh so i didn't even realize but like he's like being honest you know yeah sure um so i don't know man a tier yeah a tier i love it uh uh burger king king burger king king man that's a, that's a d that's a d it's a d for me yeah definitely Kool Aid Man. Uh, that's a that's an A. Really, I love Kool Aid Man. Yeah. Can you imagine him just like <laughs> busting through your sphincter? Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> I don't know though. He gives me like. He gives me like Patrick Bateman vibes though, you know? Yeah. Like he'd be like, oh yeah, like looking in the mirror at himself. Yeah, it would probably be your last encounter, but. <laughs> you want to make it a B? A B? Yeah. I'm saying like D to C. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll do C then. All right. Goodness gracious. I'm fine with that. All right, the Quaker Oats man who, who has recently become, uh, he, he looks like, um, he has some sort of Instagram filter that made him, uh, what, what's the term? Yossified. That Yossified, yes. Thank you. Can, can, you, can, you, can you enlarge that? Oh, yeah. Enhance 30%. Quaker Oats guy. You wrote Waker. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so that's the old Quaker Oats, man. No, this is, oh, okay, so yes, this is the newer one. That's the newer one. This one. Oh, my God. Yeah, c compare, compare old and new, like. Old, old, new, new. Yeah, they just like they just they they face tuned him a little. They bit. They got rid of his double chin. Yeah, they like they 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 let him work out a little bit. Yeah, it's like it's like they hired his son to like stand in for him. You know. Yeah. Like he was getting a little old, and they were like, "Well, what about your son? He looks just like you." He's like, My son is only twenty five, and they're <laughs> like, "Does he wear the weird wig from back in the day?" And he's like, "Yes, he does." Um, this one's a hard one. Uh, I feel he he is handsome, but I don't know. It's it's like milk toast handsome, you know. Mm. It's just kind of like, but who are you really? <laughs> 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 like, there's just like nothing there. Am I gonna get Quaker barley corn? Are you sure you're an oat man? But I guess if we're talking like a one night stand or whatever, yeah, I give him like a B or an A. Yeah, I don't think. That's right, Allie, right? We're not talking, like, long-term relationship with any of these characters. No, this is just a hotness rating. Okay. You guys yeah, I'll really, go A, then. You guys are given a lot more information than I think you need to do he is, he is hot. <laughs> Probably, uh, we, yeah. He yeah. is hot now. Yeah, we've said way too much. Um, fruit Brute. Fruit Brute. Let me, let me see a closer, closer look at him. Fruit Brute. 
<laughs> I'm a fan. I like his style. Look he's, at his pants. He's got a good attitude. Look at this. He, uh, uh, he's like playful. He's definitely the cutest out of all the. Uh, Look, there's a fucking bed in the shot. Yep. This is this. You get a, you get some delicious cereal, and then he fucks you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd prefer it the other way around, but. <laughs> you like my fruit, bro? Yeah, I think that's. Let's do it. I think he's a merry trickster. Okay. I think he'll be fun. Yep. What do you think? I uh, let's go S. S. Yep. Wow. All right. Sure. Last but not least. Who the hell is this? That's Mr. Twinkie. Oh, is the Twinkie Cowboy? Does he have a name? Twinkie mascot. Twinkie the kid. Twinkie the kid. It's like Billy the kid. Yeah, he's pretty cool. <laughs> what the? Oh fuck? my god. <laughs> maybe maybe an A. An A. Well, look at this. Holy shit. They're trying to force the issue here. Yeah. He's not Twinkie at all, if you know what I'm saying. He's he's a himbo for sure. Which is which is already like bringing him up on the list for me. But uh Yeah, I mean he's just a big dick. I'll go A. <laughs> nice. Well, all right. I like this list. Yeah. Looking at that top tier, I'm like, yep, that checks out. And looking at the bottom tier, it's like, uh huh. That checks out too. Yeah, are there any like are there any moves that you admit? Yeah, the D tier is definitely one hundred percent for me. You know what? I would actually move Colonel Sanders up one. Oh well, well, all right. Because I think the fact that he, even in his in his uh, past his prime years, he made something of himself. That's very attractive. Yeah, and he never gave up. I think I would probably downgrade. Um, the toucan that's not toucan Sam to a B, the cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Cuckoo for yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, makes for a cleaner tier list too. Yeah, it does look better. That that's I like this. This this looks good. This is good. Yeah, this is. Let us know in the comments. Uh, who you your, would fuck? I was trying to think of another way to say that. Your thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Did we make a huge mistake? Would you? Absolutely fuck the Applejack apple. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. Thanks. Back to I'm on observation duty. <laughs>